Hello students, I am back again with a new and a very interesting topic for you. Since it's new, so you have to be very attentive to understand all the points. Our topic is rounding of numbers. We round the numbers when we don't need the exact value of anything. And on rounding of whether the number increases or it decreases. Now one thing I want to tell you here that numbers 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. They are weak numbers. And numbers 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. They are strong numbers. Zero, one, two, three, and four are weak numbers, whereas number digits five, six, seven, eight, and nine are strong numbers. So we have to look for the numbers here and then decide whether the value of the number will remain the same or it will increase. Suppose we have to round off 52. Now 52 is the number which lies between 50 and 60. Before rounding the tens here, we first have to look to the right that is the ones digit and see whether the number lie is the weak number or it is a strong number. Now 2 is a weak number. So, 52 will be rounded off to 50. The tens place remains the same and we put a 0 in place of 2 here. So, it is 52 is rounded off to 50. Now, if we have to round off 56, again 56 lies between 50 and 60. We have to look to the right that is the ones place here. This digit is the strong number. So 56 will be rounded off to 60. What does this show? This explains when we have to round off the number to the tens value, we have to first look to the ones digit here, whether the number lies between 0 to 4 or the number is between 5 to 9. If the ones digit is 0 to 4, that is less than 5, then we round off to the lesser value. If the ones digit is 5 or more than 5, we round off the, the tens to the greater value. If the digit to the right of the rounding place is 5 or more than 5, the digit in the rounding place is increased by 1 and all the digits to the right are changed to 0. Suppose we have to round off 68 to nearest 10. So we will have a look at the right that is the ones place here. The digit is more than 5. So what will happen? The value of 6 will increase by 1. That is 6 will change to 7 and all the digits to the right are changed to 0. The digit to the right of this number is 8 here. So, 8 will be changed to 0. 68 is rounded off to 70 when we round it off to nearest 10. 
Now the next we want to sub uh, to round off five hundred seventy nine to nearest ten. Here we have ones, tens, and hundreds places here, but we have to round off this tens number. So what we do? We look to the right of this number that is the ones place here. We have seventy nine. Nine is more than five. So what will happen? The value of seven will increase by one. So here we will write five as it is, because we have to. We don't have to look this side. We just have to look to the right of this. So the numbers to the left remain the same. Here, seven will increase by one. That is, it will become eight, because. the number to the right is more than 5 and what will happen to the number to this digit this digit will be replaced by zero the digits to the right of this place are changed to zero so 579 is rounded off to 580 next point is if the digit to the right is less than 5 the digits in the rounding place remains unchanged and all the digits to the right are changed to zero now if we have to round off 44 to nearest 10 what we will do we are going to first look to the right here in the ones place and see whether the number is less than 5 or Five or more than five. So here we have four. The digit is less than five. So the tens place here. The number which is to be rounded off remains the same or remains unchanged. So here this will four will remain the same. But here the number to the right here this digit will change to zero. So forty-four is rounded off to forty. Another example is if we want to round off three hundred sixty-two to nearest ten. Again, this is the tens place here. So what will happen? We will look to the right. The digit is less than five. So This tens place here will remain the same. It will be three six, and the number to the right, that is the ones place, will be changed to zero. So three hundred sixty two will be rounded off to three hundred sixty. I will quote some more examples, and this will make you clear about the rounding off to nearest ten, and also we will do. The rounding off to nearest hundreds. Now I am going to explain you how to round off to nearest hundred. Suppose we have the number six hundred thirty. We have to find the number first. The hundreds number is six hundred here. we have the same procedure as we did for rounding off to the tens value we will look to the right here we have the tens digit the number the digit is 3 here this 3 is less than 5 so what will happen to 6 here it will remain unchanged and the digits to the right of this will change to 0 Zero in place of three, and zero will remain zero here. So, if the digit to the right, that is the tens place, is less than five, the value of the hundreds place remains the same. Here we can see the example. Now, if we have to round off six hundred fifty-two to nearest hundred. what will happen again we have to find the number which we want to round off then we will look to the right that is the tens place here the digit is 5 here 
So if we have 5 or more than 5, what happens? The value of this place increases by 1. So 6 will change to 7 here. And the digits to the right will be changed to 0. So in place of 5, we will write 0. In place of 2, we will write 0. 652 is rounded off to 700. I think you have understood the rounding off of tens and hundreds places. Now we will do some examples that will make you more clear. We are going to do a quick recap of the points to round off any number. First you have to find your number. Look right next to. That means you have to look to the right of the of that number if the number to the right is four or less you have to just ignore that means you have to let the place value be the same the place value will remain unchanged if the number is four or less than four if the digit is five or more add one more that is if the digit to the right is five or more than 5, the value of that place increases by 1. Now we have certain examples here. We have to round off this number to nearest 10. First, we have to find the number which we have to round off, that is 7. Circle that number in the tens place because we have to round that off. Then we have to look to the right. Right is 8 here. Now, if this is 4 or less, we just have to ignore. But here, 8 is larger than 4. So, what happened? The next line of the poem, we have to add one more. 7 plus 1 will be 8. So, we have to add 1 to 7 here. And our answer is 980. To 978 is rounded off to 980. Why? Because we added 1 to the 7 and all the numbers to the right of the 8 of the 7 becomes 0. Now we have to round this number to nearest 100. We have to find the number which we have to round off that is 3 here. Circle the number in the hundreds place. Then we have to look right next door. That means we have to have a look of, to the right of the hundreds place that is the tens place here and we have to draw the arrow to the right of the number. If the tens number is 4 or less we just have to ignore. Now here since 2 is less than 4 we do not change the 3 here and 3 remains the same and to the right all the digits are changed to 0 here and 327 is rounded to nearest 100 that is 300. We have to round off these numbers to nearest 10. First is 32. For rounding off 32 we have to first find out the number which we have to round off that is 3. Then we have to look to the right next door that is the ones place here. This digit is less than 5. So 32 will be rounded off to 30. This will remain the same and in place of 2 we are going to place 0. When the digit to the right is less than 5, this digit or the place value remains the same. It remains unchanged. So we have placed 3 here, same. And the digit to the right is changed to 0. So here in place of 2, we write 0 here. So 32 is rounded off to 30. Then next we have 48. We have to round which number? 4 here. Right is 8. That is the 1's place. 
this digit is more than 5. So what will happen? We will add 1 here to 4. So 4 plus 1 will be 5. And in place of 8, we are going to write 0. So 48 is rounded off to 50. Next is 56. We have to round off this place. And to the right is the ones place. And here we have the digit 6. This 6 is more than 5. So what will happen? 1 will be added to 5 here. 5 will become 6. And in place of this 6, we will write 0. So 56 is rounded off to 60. Next is 92. We have to round off this digit. And to the right of the tens digit, we have here ones digit, which is 2. This is less than 5. So what will happen? This 9 will remain unchanged. That is, we are not going to add or subtract any digit here. And in place of 2, we are going to write 0. So 92 is rounded off to 90. Last here is 25. We have to round off 2 here. And we have 5 in the 1's place. That is to the right we have a digit which is 5. That is more than 4. And what will happen here? 1 will be added to 2. So 2 plus 1 is 3. And in place of 5 we are going to write 0. So 25 is rounded off to 30 here. Now we have to round off to nearest 100. We have the number 198. First we have to find the number which we have to round off in the hundreds place here 100. And to the right of this we have the tens place here. And this digit is 9 which is more than 5. So what we are going to do? We are going to add 1 here to the hundreds place. 1 plus 1 will be 2. And to the right we place zeros instead of the digits here. So in place of 9 we are going to write 0 and in place of 8 we are going to write 0 here. 198 is rounded off to 200 here. Our next number is 536. Here, find the number which you have to round off. Round off. Look to the right, that is the tens place. We have the digit 3 here. This 3 is less than 5. So 5 will remain unchanged here. 5. And in place of 3, we will place 0. And in place of 6, we are going to place 0. So 536 is rounded off to 500. Next is 782. Now we have to find the number which we have to round off. Look to the right. That is the tens place. We have the digit 8 here. This 8 is more than 5. So what we will do? We will add 1 to 7. 7 plus 1 will be 8. And in place of 8, we will write 0. In place of 2, we will write 0 here. Here, 782 is rounded off to 800. Then we have 415. The number you have to find which you have to round off. Then look to the right. That is the tens place here. We have the digit 1. This 1 is less than 5. So what will happen? This 4 will remain unchanged. We will write 4 as it is. And in place of 1 and 5, we will place two zeros here. So 415 is rounded off to 400. Then we have the last 233 here. We have to find the number, hundreds number, which we have to round off. Then we have to look to the right next to, that is the tens place. We have the digit 3 here. This 3 is Less than 5. So, 2 will remain unchanged here. And in place of both the 3's, we will write 2 zeros here. So, 233 is rounded off to 200. Now, I think rounding off to nearest 10 and rounding off to nearest 100 is clear to you.